Welcome to another episode of SOLIDWORKS for Creo Parametric Users. And in this video, I'm going to talk about a command that you'll hear people use a lot in SOLIDWORKS, and it's called pack and go. And essentially, it's the same thing as file, save as, save a backup in Creo Parametric. Here's the concept behind it. I have an assembly open on the screen. The assembly can have sub-assemblies and individual components, and they can be located in a bunch of different folders on your computer. In Creo Parametric, you can use config options like search path to tell Creo which folders you've stored your library parts in or other different components. If you're using Windchill, it manages the locations of all those different models in the database. In SOLIDWORKS, if you go to File and then Find References, it'll list the components in your assembly and where they are located. So it sort of stores the location information in the model itself. Sometimes, though, in Creo and SOLIDWORKS and a whole bunch of other different CAD programs, you want to take all the different models from an assembly and just dump them into a single folder so that you can zip it up to exchange with other people or just, again, basically have everything in one place. And that's the idea behind Pack and Go in SOLIDWORKS. To get to the Pack and Go command, you can go to the File drop-down menu again. And then if you take a look down here, we have the pack and go command. When you click on it, it's going to open up a dialog box. At the top, you have a bunch of different options, and they are pretty self-explanatory. Do you want to include drawings? Do you want to include simulation results, decals, appearances, toolbox components, suppressed components, so forth and so on. And then we can see a table listing all the different components, where they are, what they should be saved to, what folder uh, that they can be saved to. And you can either look at this in a nested view with a hierarchy or a flat view. I find that it really doesn't matter. You also get a summary down here of the objects. Here we have a button that says that we're going to save all these to a folder. You can use the browse command in order to change the folder if you want to. Let me cancel out of there. Also, you can save them to a single zip file. And that just saves you the step of zipping up the folder later on if you are going to exchange this with people. And there are some more options down here. If you want to add a prefix or a suffix, if you want to flatten to a single folder or minimal folders, or keep the full folder structure. And then there's another checkbox here to email it after packaging. And that will open up your email utility to allow you to send it to someone else. And then if you want to complete the operation, hey, just hit the save button down at the bottom of the dialog box. So again, that's what they're talking about when you hear people say pack and go. It is doing a backup of an assembly to a single location.